Now we are going to start with the unit that is the cell. See, we all know that uh, we uh, like the smallest uh, unit which is present in a body is the cell. So we call it as cell as a structural and functional unit. We call cell as a structural and functional unit. So uh, cell is a structural and functional unit of our life, right, or our body. You know that the first time the cell was seen by a scientist that is the Robert Hooke. Actually, he was examining the uh, this thing. He was uh, he was looking uh, this thing, the bark of tree that is called as cock. He was looking the cock under microscope. It appeared to contain uh, uh, the structure like this, which uh, occurred like this. So he called these spaces. So there were certain spaces between the uh, you can say that uh, the walls. Those spaces were called as compartments. Those spaces were called as compartments, which were later replaced by a term called as cell. So Robert Hooke was the one who observed the cell for the first time in thin slice of cork, in thin slice of cork, and particularly what is cork? That is the bark of tree. He observed it in, under the uh, microscope which contained the two uh, lenses. Later on, uh, the microscope was discovered by Anton van Leeuwenhoek. He was he is the one who is called as father, father of microbiology biology also and he was the one who discovered the microscope. due to which like you know that the microscope is an instrument which is used to magnify things. We are able to see all these things in the cell just because of the microscope because we have an instrument like this which can actually magnify the substance up to a magnification of lack also. So that we can get uh, a, a good knowledge that what is present in the body or what is happening inside the body or what function it is actually performing. So this is what uh, that uh, the about the discovery of the cell. So now then after the discovery of the cell they were uh, like certain scientists formulated the cell theory just to make everybody familiar with the cell. So this theory was given by Sheldon, Sean and a point was added by Rudolf Virchow. So what does it story, what does this theory states actually? This theory states that cell is structural unit of life that we all know that our body is like the structure uh, like our body has a certain structure and that structure is composed of a unit that is called as a cell. So it is a structural unit. Likewise cell is a functional unit of life. We all know again for directly or indirectly the, uh, the function is performed at the cellular level only the, that means the cell is a functional unit too. And uh, the like if, as far as their origin was concerned that uh, how they originate actually that was given by Rudolf Virchow. He added all cells arise from <coughs> pre-existing cells. They said that the, the cells arise from the pre-existing cells that means their origin is not known or we can also say that cell origin is de novo. De novo means not known, they just originate from the pre-existing ones. So this is what is a basic uh, thing about the cell and likewise we have uh, this thing uh, like depend, coming on to that uh, <coughs> organism is composed of one cell, two cells, we actually see a variety of shape, number and functions of the cell. So likewise we can have depending upon the number the organisms are mostly classified as unicellular and multicellular organisms. Unicellular are one which are whose body consists of only one cell. Their body is made up of only one cell. Multicellular are the one whose body is made up of many cells like us, man. And uh, unicellular like amoeba, bacteria, yeast, 
they all are unicellular their body is composed of one cell so that means in unicellular organisms all the uh, functions like respiration excretion uh, digestion is being carried out only by the single cell but in case of multicellular different cells are involved in the different uh, systems like we have like in the body we have neuron which is engaged in the nervous system we have a nephron which is engaged in the excretory system so we have different kind of cells which are performing different functions there but in unicellular one cell is uh, one cell the same cell is performing different kind of phenomenons so this is what is a difference between the unicellular and the multicellular likewise as far as the shape is concerned shape and size is concerned it is actually uh, depend upon it depends upon the function the cell is going to perform so shape and size of the cell just depends upon the function it is going to perform so depending upon that we have different shapes like rbc we have the disc disc shape we have muscle cell which is uh, elongated and branched because they have a property of contracting and relaxing so they need to have a shape like that likewise we have nerve cell which is longest or you can say which is very long because it needs to transmit impulses from one part of the body to the another so it has to be long <clears throat> likewise we have uh, let's say another cell wbc it is irregular in shape why because its function is to eat up the foreign substances and for that it need to move out from the vessel so if it will be a irregular shape then only it is able to escape out so that means the cells can have different shapes actually depending upon the size again so size also varies the the size you can say that uh, we start measuring the size of the cell in unit micron and it makes stand up to many meters and you know that the smallest cell that is being found is the mycoplasma that is the myco plasma one of the species of the bacteria one of the kind of bacteria you can say and you know that what is its size it is 0.3 micron it is too small 0.3 micron likewise we have a nerve cell which is the longest cell of our body it is approximately 0.1 micrometer long 0.1 micro sorry millimeter millimeter long and you know that the longest nerve cell is possessed by which animal the giraffe is an animal which possesses the longest nerve cell that is of 3 meters so giraffe uh, nerve in giraffe the nerve cell is actually of 3 meters not millimeters it is meters so such long nerve cell is there so that means we can actually have a size ranging from too small to too big like we have a largest cell that is the ostrich egg so that means the just depending upon the shape and size and the uh, the requirement the number the shape and the size varies in the cell so now well, as you are familiar with the basic concept of the cell we are just going to start with the uh, the uh, components of the cell that what actually make the cell that is the cytoplasm then you must be familiar with the terms protoplasm cell membrane cell wall so we are just going to sum them up and we are going to study in detail that what actually the cell possess and what is the difference between the plant and the animal cell right so just look at the board